Please help me. Thomas, my brother, is lost somewhere up ahead. Follow me. I think he's somewhere up here. Okay, find the stranded traitor, Nobos. Really? That's a bit strange. Okay. Well, no boast, then I can just go crazy. You just have to make sure. The forest. I'm too scared to go in. Just gotta make sure that that one traitor doesn't die, but I think he's gonna actually stay back, so it doesn't even really matter. What an odd little quest. With like one bandit per wave? Really? I'm just gonna run all the way ahead. Hi, buddies. Oh, I remember you two. You two killed me before in Greatwood Gorge. I remember you. Heh. <laughs> Not so tough now that I've got this weapon, huh? Yeah, it sucks. I really feel for you. Really? Respawning enemies? Are you serious? Well, getting back is going to be fun. Eh. Eh. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to use the slow time exploit. Nope. Screw you, butthead. Eh. Should have been able to coup de gras him. Alright. This trader should be around here. Just sitting all by yourself, huh? Help me, I'm lost. Yeah, I can see that. Please help. I'll follow you back to my brother. You must have seen him. Why are you yelling? <laughs> it serves no purpose, only to annoy me. Man, these traders are really gonna want to kill this bandit. I think I'm remembering this quest now. Yeah, they make a beeline for him. Okay. So I need to start slowing time and taking care of these things. And running ahead of this bandit here so he doesn't get himself killed. Oh no. Respawning bandit. No. Bad respawning bandit. the hell? Why did you stop moving? Or you're cheering me. Come on. I think this is the most annoying bandit mission in the world, actually. <laughs> he just keeps repeating the same dialogue over and over and over again. Allow me to flex my muscles in victory. Eh. No, no. None of your snipey snipey bullshit. Where'd you come from? Stop. Where are you? Eh, there's another bandit up here. They just keep respawning randomly. It's kind of stupid. Okay, we're almost done. Come on. Just... I'm following, I'm following! Yes, thank you. Get this shit over with. Oh, you found him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here, have this. You might make sense of it. Ooh! Oh, a treasure clue. That was the point of this side quest. That quest was in the original game. Okay, I remember now. How weird. Just a little oddball quest. Compared to um, the other one, that was extremely easy and tedious. Anyway, with all those side quests done, I think that's every one of the silver ones. No, there's one more. I just remembered. We need to go to Knothole Glade. And we are going to break the siege. I don't really know what that means. But we're going to do it, because we're badasses. Halt! So you're the hero they sent, eh? Well, I've got a new job for you. These bloody villagers are holding our boss, and they plan to hang him. So I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. 
Got it? Well, run along then. We haven't got all day. Okay. That's a little weird. Oh, so this is a bunch of bandits just randomly camping out here. Not old Glade gets a bunch of crap. I'm not letting that bandit go. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. So you'll just have to go back out there and get rid of the scum's bandit friends. Talk to the guard over there when you're ready, and he'll open the gates for you. As for me, I'm off back to my hut. Good luck. Okay, thanks, buddy. I just need to remember what I have to do here. Okay, three boasts. Take no damage. Do this quest without ex assistance from any guards. Kill the bandit siege leader. Actually, I know exactly how to do this. First thing we're gonna do is run up this here hill and I think this is the bandit siege leader and we are going to kill him and see if that completes the quest hey stop tormenting the prisoner will you well that could have gone better eh I hope you weren't expecting a reward but that was the leader, wasn't it? Uh, oh. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so my theory on how that worked wasn't right. Obviously. Okay, 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 I get it. I get it, I get it, I don't have to see cutscenes again. Okay, so... We just need to kill the bandits, I think. That works. What the hell? They all just phase through the freaking door. What the shit is that? It was so weird. I'm pretty sure that's not normal. That's not supposed to happen. Are we out of mana potions? Did I literally use all my mana potions in the last? Yeah, I did. I, I used every single one of my mana potions. Well, that sucks. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this quest might be really hard. Um, okay. Well, there's the bandit siege leader. Let's, uh, poke him in the butt. Whoop! Oh my god, decapitated! And the bandit phases through the door again. Hey, I'm with you! Oh, my bad. Eh. There we go. Nice work. Those bandits won't be back in a hurry. Did I do all the boasts? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> so I just had to not open the gate and kill all the bandits from up on range. And they happened to glitch through the gate, so it made it even easier on me. Okay. Well, Wonderful. that was, um, really pathetic oh, and weird. Yes. This game, dude, it's, it's, uh, not a perfect pony, by far. Alright. Let's head back to the guild. We have learned that Twinblade is seeking revenge for his humiliating defeat. He has hired a band of highly skilled assassins to kill you. Watch out for surprise attacks. Eh. Blades, your whatever. prowess as an archer is impressive, hero. You should try your skill at the archery range near Not Old Glade. All right, we'll do those two things later. Actually, we're gonna do one of them, and the other one's just gonna randomly happen. But before we uh, stop for today, because my sinuses are really bothering me, and I'm recording this specifically because I ran out of episodes, and I wanted to keep you tired over until my recording day, which is Tuesday. We're gonna level up a little bit. Um. Let me see what we got points to spend in. Can we get accuracy? Yes. Let's get accuracy level 5. And let's get... Um... Can't get physical shield. Can't get slow time. Multi-strike. Can't have that. But we can start putting points in Divine Fury, I think. Hmm... Where's... 
the multi arrow ability. Multi arrow level three. Okay, yeah. Well, we're gonna p start putting points in Divine Fury now, as we have the points to spare, and why not? Um, Divine Fury is an ability they put in in TLC that is really visually impressive, and it used to be you were able to spam it because of how many will potions were in the game, and you could just kill everything by spamming Divine Fury. So a few times I might pull it out and we might play with it, but I'm not going to use it an insane amount. Surely not. So let's go ahead and equip that to... Uh, hmm... It's fine where it is. We can make another tier for it. Make a physical shield here. And a... Slow time... Eh, stop. Slow time... Down there. Okay. And I will demonstrate what this ability looks like next time on Fable. But until then... <laughs> my heart hurts. So I'm gonna have to start for today's recording session a little bit early. Thank you all for watching. I hope the last few side quests weren't too, um... Strange and weird. Also, wow, I completely forgot to pick up all of these books from the guild, so we might be doing that next time, too. Um, not picking up books, because I can just do that off-camera. I mean, going to the uh, guy in Bowerstone to give all the books to the dude with the kids. Teach them all school lessons.